welcome to British Ivy School e-learning platform. My name is Ms. Lovely Mokolo. I'll be taking year four words and funny. And our today's topic says sentence stress. Let me hear you. Sentence stress. Again, beautiful. Sentence strength. If you can remember last week, we treated a stress. And let me quickly refresh your memory with the meaning of express. Express can be defined as the extra force that is applied in the pronunciation of a particular word. But today, we'll be treating a sentence stress. And a sentence stress is a grammatical construction in which one or few words of a sentence are stress. A sentence stress is a grammatical construction in which one or few words of a sentence are stress. What is this trying to tell us is that in a particular sentence, one word may be stressed, and the essence of stressing that word is to give the reader an idea of what that particular sentence is talking about, to have the exact idea or meaning of the particular sentence. He says, in a sentence, okay, in a sentence stress, the words that are stressed are regarded as the prominent words. And we use them to identify the exact meaning that, are, that can be derived in a sentence, just like I told you. Yes. When you look at a particular sentence and a particular word or some group of words are stressed, it will now give you a clue to know the exact meaning that can be derived from that sentence, that can be derived inside that particular sentence we're talking about. Let me teach you more with some examples of sentence stress as we have them there. You say, examples of strength and stress. The number one says, I saw the book on the table. I saw the book on the table. If you look at this grammatical construction now, can you tell me the word that is stressed? Yes, that's very, very correct. The word that is stressed there is what? On. So with this now, you being the reader, you'll be able to know that this particular sentence is talking about where the book was found. Yes. The book, was it under the table? No. Was it beside the table? No. But when looking at this, on the table, it's not showing you that the book was on the table. I saw the book on the table. Next one. Mr. Wilson bought a new cup. Again. Mr. Wilson bought a new cup. Mr. Wilson bought a new car. Mr. Wilson bought a new car. The word that is stands there is what? New. That's to show you that he didn't buy an old car. He didn't buy a fairly used car. Rather, he bought a new car. Not an old car, just like I identified the meaning here. Number three says, she is married to a soldier. She is married to a soldier. She's not married to a teacher. Neither is she married to a banker. Rather, she is married to what? A soldier. And if you look at this grammatical construction, you will discover that the word that is stressed there is what? The soldier. So this is where the stress lies. The soldier. That a soldier. Soldier precisely. The next one. They bought a car. Again. They bought a car. Let me hear you. They bought a car. That's beautiful. Can any of you tell me where the stress lies? That's beautiful. The stress can be found in the word world, but they didn't steal the car. Neither did they borrow the car. Rather, they bought the word, the car. They bought a car. Kelvin must go with us. Kelvin must go with us. Again, Kelvin must go with us. It's not that John will go with us. It's not that James will go with us. Rather, it's what Kelvin that must go with us, with us. So this is where the stress lies. As you can see, Kelvin is capitalized. To show you, this is where the stress is. And number six, the baby is crying. Read with me. The baby is crying. And the stress can be found in the word word crying. So we're looking at the underlying
crying right now. He's showing you that the baby was, as the baby is crying, the baby is not what? He's not eating. Neither is the baby singing. Neither is the baby sleeping. Rather, the baby was what? The baby is what? Crying. Please, let me teach you something about this stress, this sentence stress, yes. Maybe looking at a particular sentence, any word that is stressed, yes, you should be able to know the exact meaning that should go with that sentence. What am I talking about? Are it been, okay, let me say in this sentence now, are it been, the, the stress lies here. I didn't mean the stress should be in this box. Then, this will automatically change. It will no longer be as an, if the stress should be here now, it will no longer be talking about this. Rather, the meaning will be referring to, like, Mr. Wilson didn't steal the car. He didn't borrow the car. Rather, he did what? He bought the car. But we're not talking about but. We're not emphasizing on the word but. Rather, we're emphasizing on the word new. And which now tells us that he didn't buy an old car, rather he bought what? A new car. So, with the little explanations I've been able to make, I believe you must have grabbed one or two things from this lesson, and I need you to study them, go over them again, over and over again. If you have any questions for me, please remember you can send those questions through this room management. Please do have a lovely and a wonderful day. Bye.